The city council is looking at banning single-use plastic utensils and bags. The bill passed its first reading today. If adopted, the ban could take effect as early as January. Jen Boniza joins us with more. Jen? Joe, it's common for restaurants to use styrofoam containers and to hand plastic utensils, straws, and bags out as a convenience to customers. Unfortunately, a great deal of it ends up in our oceans. I'm told a new bill banning those items is meant to cut down on litter and protect the environment. Getting a plate lunch in a styrofoam container and sipping a soda from a plastic straw could soon be a thing of the past if a new ban is approved by Honolulu City Council. I met with council member Joey Manahan, who introduced the bill. I really don't think they're benefiting anybody at this point, not from a, not from a health standpoint or an economic standpoint. Manahan says the growing problem of plastics polluting the environment is just one of the reasons he created the bill. We have microplastics that are being eaten by uh, fish uh, that get ingested by people. Uh, for a keiki, it's not good. For our beaches, it's not good. And for the for the animals, it's not good. The bill would ban styrofoam containers, plastic single-serve utensils, and even plastic bags to carry your food out in. I realize that perhaps uh, some of the other um, items on that are listed in the bill may be a little bit tougher, and there might be. Uh, some room to compromise, but you know we really need to uh, show some leadership, especially as it pertains to uh, styrofoam containers uh, and single-use plastics. Those who oppose the ban say it's unsanitary, costly, and ultimately doesn't do enough to reduce waste. In written testimony, Adrian Hong, president of Island Plastic Bags Incorporated, says that restaurants, bakeries, and other businesses that provide prepared food were exempt from previous bans because the use of single-use plastic bags for them is a sanitation issue. The Hawaii Food Industry Association Executive Director Lauren Zerbel says in addition to being more expensive, alternatives to plastic utensils are also not always available in the quantities that Oahu businesses need. Bans like this may reduce one kind of waste, but it is just replaced with a different kind. The bill will be heard by the Public Safety Committee at the end of August and will go before the full council again in September. If it's passed, it could take effect January 2020. Joe?